What's up guys I'm Syed and today I'm gonna show you how to triple boot to windows with Linux Mint and Ubuntu. Here I'm gonna use uh, Linux Mint 18 Sera and Ubuntu 16.04 and I'm gonna use Windows 10. If you got uh, older version or another version uh, don't worry go ahead the procedure is also same for any other version. So let's start. First of all go to ubuntu.com for uh, downloading ubuntu there will be link in the description below so you can download it and also you can download it by searching it in google and here you will need uh, 2 giga uh, 2 giga is dual core processor at least 2 gb ram 25 gb hard disk so hit download you can download uh, other version uh, if you want and now i'm gonna download free version so hit not now take me to the download and your download will start soon so that's it So after downloading, uh, click right button then uh, properties. Here you will find your processor. I have the 64 based processor, so I've downloaded the 64 bit operating system. If you got a 32 bit based processor, then you have to download 32 bit, and uh, you will see by default 64 bit is downloaded. So now uh, let's download Power ISO. I'll use power ISO for uh, making bootable USB. So there will be link in the description below so you can also download power ISO. So after downloading open connecting folder then install power ISO. So hit next button then install. After that hit next button then close so that's it now insert your USB open your desktop then uh, format your USB you can select system file system file system FAT or NTFS just hit start then format So after formatting hit ok then close now open your downloaded file that you've downloaded before i uh, downloaded ubuntu 64 bit here and hit right button then uh, click open with power iso here i got power iso by default hit tools and create bootable usb then hit ok and then hit start and ok For uh, making bootable USB, just close it. And now you have to make some space for uh, your Ubuntu. Are you gonna install Ubuntu? And select right button, then click Manage, and hit Disk Management. After that make some space for your Ubuntu um, and uh, I'm gonna take space for, from uh, C drive. Let's see how much space we got. I, we got uh, 26 GB free space. So I can easily take 50 GB space or 20 GB. So click right button then shrink volume. You can also use another drive also although I'm using uh, um, C drive. Then give your amount. Here I'm gonna use 12 GB. So I'm gonna use 1200 MB, which is almost 12 GB. I'm uh, using 12 GB. It's really small for uh, Ubuntu because I'm using a virtual device. So it has I don't have so much space here. 
so i have to use 12 gb i think you should uh, make more space for your ubuntu uh, at least 25 gb that is also recommended by ubuntu so after that just restart your computer if your uh, computer uh, didn't uh, boot from your uh, usb then you have to open uh, bios now you need to find out the way for getting to the bios it can be different for you to get into the bios for my case it is f2 button this is my bios uh, for you but it might be looks different now i have to change the boot priority or boot order pick usb first priority if you got cd or dvd make cd as first priority and when you make this save it for my case it is f10 to save it it can be different for you so after uh, saving that you'll find this and you can install ubuntu now and now select your language then hit install you can try you can also try ubuntu without installing then uh, if you want to try then you can hit try ubuntu uh, here i'm gonna use i'm gonna install uh, ubuntu so i'm gonna hit install ubuntu and uh, make sure you select uh, download updates while installing and the third party here i'm got got uh, no internet connection so i cannot select this you should remember one thing if you select erase disk and hit continue then your full hard drive will be formed then you will lost all of your data so be careful with it many people uh, when they install ubuntu or any other linux for the first time they did this mistake and they lost every file uh, and then they complain about that so be careful with it and select something else then hit continue after that you will find uh, your free space then select your free space and uh, make swap area one more thing you should uh, remember if you got ssd and hard drive make sure you make this swap area from hard drive but if you don't have any option without uh, ssd then uh, give less space for uh, swap area but if you got uh, ram more than 4 gb then uh, i think you don't have to make any swap area because uh, when your pc don't have any ra uh, space in ram then your pc will use swap area so the point is if you got ssd only ssd and you don't have any hard drive and you have more than 8 gb ram then skip this step don't you don't have to use uh, swap area anymore so let's go ahead i got uh, hard drive so i can easily use uh, swap area so uh, here i'm gonna make uh, 2 gb swap area so after that select free space again and hit the plus icon and uh, i'm gonna use full size here and uh, use as ext4 generalizing file system and mount point for slash then hit ok and make sure here make sure it, uh, you have selected your full hard drive location and hit install and after that uh, select your location then uh, hit continue and uh, select your keyboard layout and hit continue again and enter your name your computer's name pk username then choose a password confirm your password then hit continue after doing all these steps then uh, hit restart after restarting your pc just enter your password so that's it i'm gonna shut down here we got uh, windows 10 and ubuntu so now go to your windows so here it is open your windows then uh, download linux mint here i'm gonna download uh, linux mint 18 then hit download so after downloading linux mint sarah uh, uh, make a bootable usb same way uh, we did for ubuntu and just uh, open power iso then uh, 
make bootable so after making bootable usb just uh, go to your desktop then uh, select disk management so now you have to make some space for uh, linux mint so just do same thing again string volume then uh, choose your space here i'm gonna make uh, 11 gb for uh, mint So I have made here uh, 11 GB unallocated space. So after that, just restart your PC and uh, make sure you enter your uh, bootable USB. Then you'll find this uh, boot menu. Just select Start Linux Mint. So after that, just hit Install Linux Mint and select english then hit continue and make sure you selected third party software install third party software and hit continue and after that select something else and hit continue uh, here we got this we got a windows 10 loader windows ubuntu 16 loader and now we also have free space then select free space and hit plus icon then uh, you can make swap area uh, I will say the same uh, thing again if you got uh, SSD make less swap area and if you got uh, SSD no option but SSD and um, have more than 4 GB RAM then you don't have to use make this swap area you can uh, skip this step so here I'm gonna make uh, 1 GB uh, swap area so after that I hit ok and now select tree space again and hit plus icon and then select primary and use as ext journalizing file system and amount point forward slash and size use use your full size or you what size you want and so here we will install linux mint and make sure you select your full hard drive location and hit install now and hit continue after the select your location then hit continue and uh, select your keyboard layout and uh, hit continue then uh, type your name uh, your computer name pick up an username choose your password confirm your password then hit ok so after that hit restart now and make sure you remove your usb flash usb drive if you see this message then remove your uh, usb then hit enter and here we got linux mint 18 cinnamon 64 bit windows 10 loader and ubuntu 16.04 so let's check our linux mint is working Our Linux Mint is working well. Then uh, hit uh, enter your password. Then enter. So that's it. We got uh, Linux Mint 18 Sarah Cinnamon 64 bit, and it's our uh, file files or drive. So now just uh, restart your computer. Uh, then you will see this grab menu. So let's check our Ubuntu is working well and uh, just enter your password Ubuntu password. So it's okay. Our Ubuntu is also working well. So now restart your computer again and let's see our Windows 10 is working. So it's our Windows 10. It's also working so that's it for today thank you guys thank you for watching if you got any problem or any question you can ask me here you can leave a comment here 
I'll try to answer you.